Okay, guys, welcome to CSD.TV. This is our new TV show. Yeah. Just uh, introduce yeah. us. Um, I'm Sam. I'm Chris. And I'm Dan. That's us all. And uh, we'd like to take you on a magical journey. Into the land of the mighty bush. Oh, great. Now it's <laughs> copyright. We welcome you to the second show. And in other news, the UK inflation rate has fallen to 4.2%. Yeah, uh, so, hmm, hmm, yeah, anyway, to the weather. And the weather today is, as we can see, as we can see, it's wet. And chilly. Oh, hey. Right, today we're doing fish fingers and custard and for this you need fish fingers and custard. To start off with you have to open the pack, which I already did. Make sure all the fish fingers are there and put them on your tray. And because it's for the challenge Dan, we're putting them all on. <laughs> Yay! And then kids, make sure you've always got safety. You have to put these in the oven. Now make sure you heat your oven and preheat it as well. So it's already been preheated and in 10 minutes time we will have fish fingers! Yay! Now kids, it's time for the fish fingers. Take them out of the oven and place them on top. Mm. Tesco Valley fish fingers. And look how pretty they look, kids. And so for the second half of the meal, you need some custard. And that and a bowl. Now, for normal people, you need to warm it up. But for challenge, Dan. <laughs> now, make sure you do start your custard. By the way, Dan's hate cold custard. Did you know that over 10 people a year are killed by vending machines? Hmm. Okay guys, uh, I've, we've talked to Dan, he's got a rough idea what he's doing. He has no idea about the vinegar and salt. Or salt and vinegar as we call it. Time for the uh, the final the final bit. Oh, that looks that looks that looks delicious. Mm. Isn't Dan lucky? Oh, let's let's cut that around a bit, shall we? <laughs> let's cut that around a bit. Now remember, folks, Dan has to eat all of this as oh, it is challenge dipping, Dan. Dipping them in. Right. Oh no 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 no. No. Now, if you've ever watched <laughs> Doctor Who. It, there's there's an episode where I think when the doctor first cut, the new doctor first comes about where he's exploring his his food and what he likes and he suggests fish fingers and custard like we've done here. So the official challenge to Dan is is he as good as the new Time Lord? Can he eat fish fingers with custard? Without further ado, Dan, it's time for challenge Dan. Something a bit wrong with that one. No, no. It's not. Oh. It's not like that. What's it taste like? <laughs> so, any more to go? Oh no! We put all that in here. Well, you know. The fish fingers themselves actually taste really nice. Mm. They get so like Stan likes fish fingers? But does he like them with custard? Mmm. You know what None of that language either. The time lord never swears. That's not proper. And this also could be, you know, watched by kids. We don't mean bad language. Oh, I'm gonna it out. <laughs> uh, Quick commentary from Sam. Sam, how's your custard? My custard is amazing. I mean, I think, I think what makes it best is that there's no salt in it, there's no vinegar in it, and there's no fish fingers in it. I mean, I feel sorry down at the moment because he's got all of those. I just wish my mum's got this. Oh no. Oh. No, no, no. Who are you? It's not Challenge Sam, Dan, is it? <laughs> it's Challenge Dan. Could be. Yeah, but it's not. <laughs> Come on. Right. Oh, I failed the challenge. So Dan failed his challenge, so me and Sam will now have to set him a forfeit. 
Right. With this brilliant mind of Sam's, it's mm. going to be an interesting yeah. one. I'm thinking some some form of nipple torture, to be fair, guys. <laughs> some form of nipple torture. This is the best. Well, guys, I think this just proves that Dan isn't as good as a Time Lord. And to be honest, I think no human is. Who could, who could handle fish fingers with custard? I could. No, I couldn't. Granddad, can you tell me a story? Of course I can. In October 1987, Matthew Bowyer popped out during his lunch break for some golf practice next to an airbase in the African state of Benin. Slicing his shot to perfection, he drove the ball over the fence into a passing bird, which coughed, squawked, and plummeted toward the runway, smashing into the windscreen of a plane about to take off and alarming the pilot, who slammed on his brakes and skidded, plunging into Benin to Benin's four and only military jets. With a single golf stroke, this important athlete had wiped out the country's entire air force. Anyway, it's poker night for the lads. So, good night. Sweet dreams. Okay, guys, this is the face of fear. As you know, Dan did not complete his challenge. There were seven fish fingers and custard left. The challenge is, well, the fourth is, he has to, for every fish finger he left, for a second, have a peg on his nipple. Chris, bring him in. Oh, the slow walk for emphasis. Oh. I take your weapon. Wait, as soon as the peg goes on, I'll count seven seconds. <laughs> and we'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> no, <we're not. laughs>